You ready? You ready? All right, so here is Brandon Moreno, Tijuana, Mexico's first UFC champion. Won an interim belt against Kai Kata France in what was their second meeting, and somehow, some way, the trilogy arrives tonight. Your thoughts on Kata France trying to exact some revenge here after what happened back in 2022. Brandon Moreno is the funnest fighter on the UFC's roster, the nicest guy that you could ever come across that is an absolute killer. Because once that door closes, the octagon door closes, all the smiles are gone. And he is an absolute dog on the scent of a target that he wants to chase down. Kai Carfons doesn't need to be chased though. Kai Carfons would be in his face from the moment they say fight, trying to beat a man that has got the upper hand on him twice. Let's see what he does, or how he does. All right, so we'll see if Brandon Moreno can get off to a good start tonight. He is a five-tool player, but the jab would appear to be his weapon of choice here in the early game. And, and honestly, John, he's developed even further as he has gone to Missouri to train. The guy is getting better. He does a good job of finding his range. He's shortened his stance a little bit, so he's not so much in a boxing stance, but he is using that to defend leg kicks more effectively, but also still have the ability to go find that jab. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Crazy numbers round one. He landed in perfect perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing there front. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the B-positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going... Oh, he got it again. Gets back to his feet. Just misses with the left hook. Under a minute to go. All right, well, things are getting critical. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. 